Aaron Burnett out front. Weeknights at 7, only on CNN. Atlanta, Xanadu, the city of Z. Lost cities capture our imagination, and they've done that for generations. One of the most celebrated was Heraklion. Now, you may not have heard of this, but at the time of the pharaohs, this is what it looked like. It was the main port in Egypt. According to legend, it was an important place of knowledge, trade, and religion until it sank into the Mediterranean sometime in the 8th century. Lost forever. But then something amazing happened. It was found thousands of years later. A team of underwater archaeologists led by Frank Gaudio rediscovered the city 30 feet below. Only today, though, today are we getting the first look at what they've actually found. Colossal statues, tablets, jewelry, coins, ceramics, tens of thousands of pieces frozen in time at the bottom of the sea. Experts estimate it could take as long as 200 years to fully reveal what they have. It's an amazing discovery, and it shows maybe there is an Atlantis out there. But it's also the reason we have to continue to travel, investigate, and explore. I love visiting ruins like the city of Pompeii, and I know you don't always find something as amazing as a lost city, but if you keep searching, you always find something no one else has seen before.